Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is the world's most admired company. Fortune magazine recently produced their 2016 list of the world's most admired companies. And for the ninth consecutive year, the winner is Apple. Now, number two spot goes to Alphabet or Google, and the number three spot goes to Amazon. But for the ninth consecutive year, Apple was again number one in that area. Fortune's criteria included things like the company's products and services, their financials, the quality of leadership and management, and their corporate social responsibility. But they still have some key ingredients that are the secret to their success, and I wondered what they were. So, Fortune interviewed Tim Cook, and I took a look at the interview and I came away with four key points that I think we could all learn from. The first key point is blocking out the noise. That means that when you're in a position of success, and even when you're struggling to get to that position of success sometimes, people will surround you with their advice. Analysts, advisors, stockholders, shareholders, employers, anyone will come around you and tell you what they think you should do to be successful. And you have to focus on what you know to be true and what you know your focus is and really block out all the rest of the noise. Apple is actually doing that in their current conversations with the U.S. government regarding unencrypting uh, one of their iPhones. The second point is focusing on mission and vision. And Tim Cook says that Apple focuses on providing products and services that enrich the lives of others. It's that simple. And it's not about whether it's a phone or it's a laptop. It could be any product or service, but they focus on that. So what's your mission and vision? And does it really engage your employees and your shareholders? Does it excite them to be a part of what you're doing? The third point is identifying balanced metrics. In that regard, Apple's recent quarter had earnings of $18 billion on sales of 71 million iPhones. That's a great metric. So what are the metrics that really show what you're doing in your business that really relate to your mission and your vision and support it. And the fourth point is exploring the possibilities. So Apple is widely reported to be exploring the possibility of building an automobile. Tim Cook would not deny or confirm it, but certainly they have a number of people working for them or around them in that automotive space. And they're simply exploring the possibility of whether they can provide an enriching experience for people in that arena. So I applaud them for their rate ranking as number one of most admired company in the world. And they provide some examples that we all should think about. How can we be most admired in the world? Thanks a lot for listening.